I think the part of that story that piqued a lot of ears was the reduction of bills, especially with the cold temperature swings we have here in Colorado. Oh, yes, indeed. And uh, this year especially, the right. bills have been sky high. Speaking of the sky, it is windy out there in the sky right now. There's our uh, library cam looking at the uh, flags. You can see the Mesa back there in the background out near Golden. 41 degrees now. We made it into the upper 50s today, but the temperatures are dropping already. We've got a lot of wind going on. Winds are in Greeley in the 40s, 46 in Broomfield, still gusting from time to time up to 30 downtown and uh, 35 at DIA. And the winds extend all the way down into southern Colorado as well. We are holding on to the red flag warning now for another hour. And uh, probably about oh, 8 o'clock or so when the front moves through, the winds will start to die down around here. That uh, warning for the high fire danger extends into southeastern Colorado, and most of southern Colorado has a wind advisory or a high wind warning going on, including the San Gato Cristos and the San Juans for some big uh, winds up there. Some of the San Gato Cristos could go up to 80 mile per hour. Right now, you can see where the cooler air is coming in. It's 41 in Boulder and a DIA, 39 in Fort Collins, 39 in Greeley. So the cooler air dropping in along with that wind, despite making it into the 50s today. There's a chill in the air out out there as that front is dropping through. We still have some light snow in the mountains. They could see another one to four on top of what they've already seen this weekend. That'll add up to about six to 12 total by the time we get to tomorrow morning. And right along the Continental Divide here, uh, in Red Feather Lakes down through Estes Park in the higher areas, we've had some wind and some snow really causing some problems like on 34 out there and areas around Glen Haven and Livermore. Some uh, really gusty winds along with some of the snow up there causing some driving issues as well as we go through the afternoon. Afternoon. Now tomorrow, 6 a.m. in the morning, the snow will start to lift up out of northern Colorado here. will be mostly clear across the state tomorrow behind that front, but temperatures will be much cooler than we have been around here uh, today. Temperatures tonight now will be in the 20s and teens in the lower elevations, teens and single digits in the mountains. Now check out the highs for tomorrow. Only about 44 in Lyons, 47 in Aurora. Castle Rock about 49 as well, and you can see the cooler air just dipping in over northeastern Colorado, still holding on to 50s and 60s down south, and we're looking at 30s primarily in the mountains and 50s out there on the western slope, so a little bit warmer from Grand Junction down through Cortez and Durango as well. So 45 degrees tomorrow, breezy and a little colder, and part of what's uh, producing uh, the, the big change is a big trough off the coast of California that'll send our temperatures downward starting on Tuesday and Wednesday in the 40s, 30s for Thursday and Friday, and to start the week, each one of those days, we could have a little light drizzle or a little light mix going on. Warm enough where it's not going to be all snow, and then Thursday, snow is likely partly sunny on Friday, and then over the weekend, 40 on Saturday, and then Saturday into Sunday, another light mix possible. Earlier I said Friday was St. Patrick's Day. It's not. I know it's the 17th. So. But it is a Friday. So I just we got, got that excited part right. for Friday. I mean, that's all. Right. We all should be excited for Fridays. Oh, uh, for sure. And when there's fun to be had. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. Well, still ahead, we sit down with one of the best in basketball. Romy Bean goes one-on-one -on -one with 